Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Navy Themes Edition. 42 millimeters in stainless steel. You can see this Themes Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now this is a subtle variation on a watch I recently highlighted on the channel. It is a different watch with a different strap that changes the character of the watch a little bit and makes a huge impact on its versatility with respect to using a sports watch as intended. Now the rubber strap that you see here, once known as the diver strap, is now an option across the entire Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 42mm and 44mm line. Natural vulcanized rubber, it is very soft and it makes it much easier to wear the broad span of the 53mm lug-to-lug -lug Royal Oak Offshore on a smaller wrist. Now you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is still as large as ever, but I can tell you from a tactile sense, in terms of the security and the ease of the fit, this is a difference maker and a significant one. For one thing, it's smoother against the skin even then the calf skin used on the bottom of the hornback strap and thanks to the high quality vulcanized rubber used it's an excellent highly supple and soft strap against the skin so what touches the skin feels so much more agreeable even than the finest calf leather that Audemars Piguet uses on its hornback undersides so in terms of fit feel and ease this is the hookup if you have a 14 to 16 centimeter wrist and you want to wear an offshore easily. Now the traditional steel pin buckle, high quality, impressively styled and finished on both sides, speaks to the attention to detail that Audemars Piguet invests in its timepieces. It's a tough piece and it's as big, blocky, and physically imposing as the case itself. And that is the highlight of every Royal Oak Offshore. Now you can see one of the key distinctions between an Offshore and a traditional Royal Oak here. Not only does the watch have so much more girth and visual mass to make it more, again, there's that word, imposing, and give it presence, but the bezel gasket really stands out against a stainless steel case. And it went from being barely visible on the Gerald Genta original to a fully expressed stylistic component of the case on the offshore. You can see how it adds to the layered machine aesthetic of the watch while also providing a little bit of a visual break between the case and the bezel. Now the bezel is the traditional Royal Oak and Royal Oak offshore octagonal setup, polished on its flanks, grained on its top. It recalls the porthole architecture of mid-century Royal Navy battleships and to good effect well, each of the hexagonal bezel bolts here in offshore style steel features a polished finish that allows them to set themselves apart within the bezel, providing contrast without resorting to two-tone effects. It's done entirely with finish. Now this model, known as the Navy, is an evolution of the original. The first bowed in 2008 as part of the Themes series. So you had Navy Blue, and that was the theme. This watch takes all of the original elements of the Navy and it increases the refinement as well as the contrast and the legibility. Now the original featured dark registers on a silver dial. This one features a dark dial matching tachometer, um, lively accents of orange that really give more life and a sense of vivacity and fun to the watch, and the use of light Arabic numerals, applied white gold I should say, and loomed, on a dark background makes this more legible at a glance, in my opinion, than the loomed dark Arabic numerals applied on the silver of the original. Now, where you do see a little bit of an inversion is on the sub-registers. The calibration style is different from the original, but because they are silvered with dark calibrated marks, I find that even these are easier to read at a glance. Now, the entire aesthetic of the watch has been revised. For 2014, the famed nitrile covered elements of the pushers and the crown are converted to a higher grade ceramic. There are subtle changes to the faceting of the crown guards, but I want to focus on the pushers and the collar of the crown, because whereas these used to be a synthetic known as nitrile, sort of a gummy rubber that had a chance uh, to get scuffed or scratched or torn, whereas ceramic, nearly indelible, is as hard for practical purposes as the sapphire crystal. It's an investment by Audemars Piguet in the longevity of its timepieces. They're faceted and they feature contrasting brushed and polished finish. And thanks to the hardness of kiln-fired ceramic, they're likely to stay good looking for the life of the watch. Now, one of the great revolutions of 2014 came on the case back, where we introduced for the first time on serial production, a Royal Oak Offshore in the 42 millimeter format with a display case back. Now you saw this on the truly limited edition, 
But again, that was a limited edition. Now, every single 42 millimeter offshore proudly displays its Audemars Piguet in-house caliber 3126-3840 chronograph movement. With an abundant 50 hours of power reserve, it's solidly more than the industry standard 42, but there's far more here. This is a complex and beautifully crafted machine. 59 pivot jewels and 365 parts. It features the engraved family crests of the Audemars and Piguet family as a reference to the fact that this is the largest independent luxury watchmaker in Switzerland that remains in the control of the original founding families, in their case from 1875. A dual anchored balance bridge with a free sprung gyromax style balance provides the kind of durability and timing precision in the face of shocks that you expect of a Royal Oak offshore. And because of the unlubricated high efficiency ceramic winding bearings, uh, the rotor itself is essentially sealed for life, needing no maintenance, which is again an investment by Audemars Piguet in the longevity of the timepiece. Now we'll start up the chronograph here so you can see a little bit of chrono action and I'll close with my observation that this watch rated to 100 meters the same as the example on the hornback actually has the ability to take the plunge without any prior consideration. On the leather strap you're going to want to swap out to a bracelet or a textile or a rubber strap but with the nice complementary tones of this vulcanized navy blue rubber strap it still looks just as appropriate if you do want to wear it in a somewhat more formal upscale paradigm, but the watch has a sporting versatility that allows you to basically jump into the pool, pull a cannonball, or wipe out on the jet ski that you just don't get with the hornback. You can see this versatile and handsome 42mm Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore and purchase it on our website, watchyouwant.com.